His sunscreen, of course. Gordy Tupper is riding the Victoria Harbor ferries, checking out all their ports of call. Time to find out now where he's going tonight. Bennett, today the Victoria Harbor Ferries, thanks Eves, takes us to Dockside Green. Now, what a neat little community this is down in the harbor. You've heard a lot about it, but have you actually seen how unique it is? They really are creating a quaint little urban community with condo housing and specialty businesses catering to the locals, but how green are they really? Well, it all seemed to be there, wind turbines to generate power, window shades to block the sun, with solar panels on the back of them to create more energy. They have their own sewage treatment plant that doesn't smell, by the way, and a flowing creek. Is this actually a real creek here? Yeah, well, we made it. Um, you know, we're pretending we're Mother Nature. <laughs> yeah. But it's, you know, we had five baby ducks born last night. There's fish in here, snails, uh, dragonfly larvae. Though, you know, it's, uh, and it acts as our storm system, so it ebbs and flows when it, when it uh, rains. And apparently Joe gets a lot of positive feedback. You know, as a developer, it's very rewarding. I mean, normally, you know, you get a lot of complaints, and um, but in this development, everyone's really bought into the vision, and they really like the quality of the workmanship, and, of course, you know, the beauty of the site. One of the nifty businesses there is a little bakery, the name of which I was a bit shaky on. But tell me how to pronounce it again. Boulangerie Full AP. And you guys are all about natural and green here, from everything you make to the entire building, pretty much. Yeah, it fits in well here with the neighborhood. Uh, you know, all the ingredients we use are organic, so uh, it's grown in a sustainable way, um, both for the farmers growing it, as well as, uh, you know, there's no synthetic pesticides or herbicides used in, in the growing of the food. Tasty treats for sure in a bakery that's constructed of recycled bricks and even a beam from the old Princess Mary restaurant in the counter. And next door at Cafe Fantastico, Ryan's on board with the whole neighborhood theme. It's like everybody in this community is on the same page. Everybody wants to be natural and make things, uh, well, friendly to the environment. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, and it's, it's uh, a very sensible way to go. I mean, it makes sense uh, business-wise uh, as well. Our, you know, our long-term operating costs are going to be uh, much lower. So, I mean, we're in, in the business for the long term. I'm, I'm not thinking uh, I'm going to be here for five years. I'm thinking I'm going to be here for a very long time. I'm going to be honest, I was very impressed with the Dockside Green development. Next Tuesday, I'm taking my Ambassador Seasons Pass, us locals can buy, and hopping the Harbor Ferry over to Victoria's best-kept secret, Point Ellis House.